Well, today should be fun. Um, remember, we're on a two-hour delay schedule, so if you want to find the schedules, just hop over to my website next to the home button, press schedules, and then the two-hour delay schedule is here to make it big. We just tap it. So the gist of it is we have 29-minute class periods and a 25-minute lunch. Every class period is pretty even, except for eighth period is chopped off there, and it's just a 28-minute period. But everything else is nice and even today, even if it's a little different, a little unpredictable. So today is a book work day, so let's go to Google Classroom, and let's open up the Chapter 9 assignment. And I'm going to open up my slides. And again, press the arrow in the upper right-hand corner, the square row. This is part of what we did yesterday together. We did notes. You were supposed to um, copy those notes from page 203 on the left and then find your own mnemonic either on Google or um, with just being creative, make your own. But we're going to slide two today. We have six questions. I'm going to split screen with Google Classroom so I can pull up the textbook pages. And we have, first up, the skunk was placed in a new family. So that's this story. And when we talk about what names mean in scientific names, they're in Latin. And their Latin translation to English can be very helpful. Now, Carl Linnaeus, or why do we classify living things? That's on this page. Why classify? There's a reason for it. And then we skip 203 because we already did our notes on that. How did Carl Linnaeus classify living things? Then question three in this picture. We need to look at this picture and see what traits all of these organisms have in common before they start, start splitting off into groups. So this is one way to show evolutionary relationships and classification with a, with a diagram like this. Then we have the language of scientific names. And then we have Tyrannosaurus rex. It's a translated name as well. It's Latin, and in English, it means something that kind of makes sense. The rules for writing scientific names are in here as well in this paragraph. There's kind of three rules. You need two. And then lastly, there's this thing called a dichotomous key. In a dichotomous key, you go through the steps, and I'll take you through the one on the right. And you go through the steps, and you answer the questions. One of the questions has to be true. So the first question, this mammal flies and its hands are formed into wings. And so if I look at this mammal on the left, it doesn't have wings for hands, so it's not a little brown bat. Does not fly, tells me to go to step two. Step two. This mammal has a naked tail with no fur on it, or this mammal does not have a naked tail. It clearly has a furred tail, not naked. We skip step three. We're told to go to step four. Step four. This mammal has a black mask across its face. It does not have a black mask. That is, that's not black. So where does that tell us to go? Step six. It's not a raccoon. Step six. This mammal is brown with a white underbelly. And the color's a little tricky, but yes, brown with a white underbelly. So did we find out what it was? No. Step seven. This mammal has a long furry tail that is black on the tip. That's true. So this mammal is the long tail weasel. So the creature on the left is the long tail weasel. To do the creature on the right, we have to go through the same steps. Are its hands formed into wings? No. Does it have a naked tail? No, it has a furry tail. Go to step four. Does it have a black mask across its face? No, it's not a raccoon. Go to step six. Is it brown with a white underbelly? No, no white underbelly. And so we're going to go to a different step, step eight. And so you would keep going. So that's how we use a dichotomous key. It's paired statements. One of the statements has to be true. You follow the statements until you get an identification. Hopefully that helps. So today's a funny day, but the work is easy enough. 
Could we possibly play a gim kit if people work well? We could. There is a chapter 9 gim kit. So here's hoping. Good luck.